guys, Brad Wilson here at the Wild Heart Wilderness and today we're working on our knife once again. Today we're working on the material reduction of this knife. Um, you know, we've got the basic profile, we fixed a little bit of a handle. It's really not as big as I would like it to be, but um, it's good enough to fit, you know, you can fit three of your fingers in there, hold on to it. It's good enough for just a small skinning type uh, of a knife. You could fit all four of your fingers in there, but um, your, you know, your pointer finger would kind of come up over part of the blade, so I mean you wouldn't really want to do that. But um, So it's a little bit smaller, it's not really perfect. But for my first knife, you know, I mean, I, I'm not going to complain too much, you know, not having much experience in this type of thing. So, um, you know, I'm pretty, pretty happy with it for the most part. I think I can really use this knife. Um, so what we're going to do today is re reduce the material here. You know, it's still pretty thick. We need to get a bevel on this, um, which is what we're going to do today using an 8-inch bench grinder uh, from Harper Freight. Uh, I got this for probably about $42. It was originally like $50, about $50, um, but I had a coupon and was able to get it for uh, about almost $10 cheaper, so it um, worked out pretty good that way. Um, so what we're going to do today is just put the initial grind on this so that we can go on from there later on to uh, sharpening this, this knife. Um, and then I've also got something here I worked on the last time when I finished up this knife. Um, I had another old file sitting around that I, uh, I made this. And what this is, what I'm hoping it will turn out to be, is a herb chopper. So this part right here is the handle. This will be the blade. We'll also reduce the material on this. And hopefully I'll have something that I can chop up herbs and uh, plants and things like that with. Um, you know, just something to use rather than ha having to use my knife. Um, I, again, you know, this isn't perfect, just like my knife. Um, first time making something like this, because you know I'm really new at all of this forging stuff. Um, so I, all of this, by doing these things, I'm learning. But um, I tried to put kind of a belly on this thing, so so it could rock, you know, so it'd just be easier to cut with than using. Um, my belt knife. So uh, hopefully this will turn out pretty good too. Uh, but the main thing we're working on today is uh, taking the material off on this knife. So stay with me and we'll start working on this. Safety first, you want to wear your glasses. Um, you don't necessarily have to have gloves, I don't guess. Um, I'm going to wear gloves because I really don't know what to expect. This is my first time using a bench grinder. Uh, but I'm going to use gloves. Now, a thing to remember is you don't want this to overheat or, or get too hot or anything like that, which it will. So you want a bucket of water or something like that next to you, so you can periodically dip it in the water to keep it cool. Um, now, this is we've got two different stones here. We've got a coarse stone and a fine stone. I'm going to start out using the coarse stone, then I may end up using the uh, fine stone. Just uh, just see how things look at that point. So. So that's doing a pretty good job, as you can see already. I'll just do that a few times, and I'm going to switch to the other side, I think. And you always want to go from the, uh, I guess, I don't know what to call it, the back part, closer to where your handle is, and work your way out to the tip of the blade.
Alright, so I kind of went up higher on the, on the grind as well, just to kind of give it a better, more of a ed defined edge. Alright, so we've got our initial grind on there, our initial bevel, as you can see. Um, but it's going to take a lot more to really get this knife sharp. I mean, it's it can cut right now, probably, if we, if, you know, if I pushed hard enough. Um, but it's it's definitely not sharp. But um, you know, like I said, we've got our initial bevel here, and now we can get into using, uh, you know, probably use just to touch it up a little bit with a file and then after that we will use um, some stones and things like that to really get it to a good sharp point or sharp edge I should say um, but yeah I like that rough forged look you know that rough grind look where it's not necessarily smooth across I kinda like that look um, looks has a real homemade look to it I think um, so I think this is gonna be a nice little skinning knife for processing um, small game you know you can skin with it it's got that nice rounded top there where you can uh, gut it with it, gut with it without um, risking you know puncturing uh, some type of organ or something like that messing up the game um, but uh, all in all I'm pretty pretty happy with this bench grinder um, it as you can see it takes forever for it to, to stop you know when you cut it off but other than that it's no no problem you know with that really but um so if you're thinking about getting into making knives and things like that you know can't go wrong with this little bench grinder here I don't think uh, it really doesn't get too hot you know I, I can touch I can bear the heat right now and I mean I'll probably use that thing for probably I don't know the last 20 30 minutes or something like that you know so that's pretty good anyway I thank you guys for joining me for this video um, as always, I'm Brad Wilson, Wild Heart Wilderness. Until the next one, get out in the woods and be wild. Thanks, guys.